Welcome to New England Crypto and East Coast Hardware. Today's video is going to be an epic journey through the evolution of home Bitcoin mining. We're diving into a treasure trove of mining hardware, from nostalgic relics to cutting edge powerhouses. Whether you're a seasoned miner or just curious about how Bitcoin gets dug up, you're in for a treat today. We've got almost 20 Bitcoin miners to share with you guys today. We'll go over prices, hash rate, and efficiency. We're not just talking about Bitcoin miners today, we're actually getting hands on with them. Take a quick look at the Nerd QX++ Hydro. The RGB on this water cooled Bitcoin miner is amazing, beautiful. I've personally collected a fascinating array of Bitcoin mining hardware, thanks hugely to our friends over at Bitcoin Merch. Everything from the original USB Bitcoin miners for at home mining to the most efficient mini rigs available today like the Nerd QX++. We'll go over the specs for all these miners, discuss their efficiency, and even fire some of them up. Let's start our journey back in time to the days when Bitcoin was just a baby and mining was a whole different ball game. Up first, we have these awesome little pieces of history, the original USB Bitcoin miners. Back in the day, this was the most efficient Bitcoin mining hardware you could get your hands on. And they weren't just lottery miners, they were serious contenders. Of course, by today's standards, their hash rates are incredibly low and they can be quite power hungry for what they deliver, but they do hold a special place in my heart for pioneering the at-home Bitcoin mining revolution. Now let's fast forward a bit to some more contemporary yet still incredibly accessible mini miners. These are perfect for anyone just getting into mining, blockchain, or who simply love the thrill of the Bitcoin lottery. Check out this mini 3D printed ASIC that has working fans. It has three ESP32S boards inside that are pre-flashed with the NerdMiner V2 firmware. I found this one on eBay. It's called the NX3 Pro Nugget Miner. It was right around $45. This isn't an ad or a sponsorship or anything, but I thought it was really cool. The only bad thing about it in modern times is it doesn't have a screen at all. Speaking of the NerdMiner firmware, we also have the standard NerdMiner V2, which is around $24, as well as the large screen variant, which is right around $29. Both of these offer approximately 70 kilohashes per second at less than one watt of power. They are fantastic entry level devices for anyone that wants to dip their toe into mining, solo mining, or learn about blockchain without breaking the bank or upping the electricity bill. And then we have the Jingle Miner Solo Bitcoin Miner by Jingle Mining coming in at $49. This one ramps up the hash rate just a bit, offering 300 kilohashes a second still at just one watt of power. A nice step up for those looking for just a bit more punch in their solo mining efforts. All right, now we're moving into the realm of gigahashes per second, where we start to see some serious efficiency gains and higher hash rates. These miners are still compact, but they pack a significantly bigger punch. First in this category is the Marslander V2, priced at $349. This beast delivers 250 to 270 gigahashes per second at less than 17 watts of power. That's a huge leap up from the kilohash miners showing just how far technology has come. Next, we have the Disruptor USB Miner for $99 each. This is a modern day USB miner, a 300 gigahash miner at 15 watts of power, which is incredibly efficient for its size and hash rate, making it a fantastic option for home setup, but no screen if that matters to you. And now let's talk about a family of miners that's truly pushing the boundaries of home mining efficiency, the Bidax series. These miners are highly suggested by the community for their performance per watt and reliability. Kicking it off, we have the Bidax Ultra, which is a 425 gigahash variant currently on sale for $89. This bad boy delivers around 425 gigahashes per second using just 11 watts of power. Incredible. And then we have the Bidax Supra, which is currently on sale for just $99. This miner pushes out 600 gigahashes per second while consuming only 14 watts of power, a serious contender for efficiency. And check this out, 
another bit axe, but this one is a powerhouse putting out 1.2 terahashes per second using just 15 watts of power. That's literally twice the hash rate as the bit axe Supra with a similar power draw. This is truly next level home mining. The prices for these are currently fantastic, making them extremely popular at the moment. And now we're entering the big leagues of home mining, the terahash miners. These miners are designed for those who want serious hash power without stepping into industrial scale operations. First in this category, we have the Bitax Hex priced at $399. This unit delivers three terahashes at 80 watts of power, a significant jump in raw hash power for its relatively compact size. It's a fantastic option for dedicated home miners. Next up, we have the Nerd QX++, which is a $499 miner. This one ramps up to a hefty 5 terahashes per second at 80 watts. For those seeking serious hash power for their home setup, the Nerd QX++ offers a fantastic balance of hash rate and manageable power consumption. And now for a very interesting miner, the Avalon Nano 3S. This compact miner delivers a surprising 6 terahashes per second at 140 watts. It's a $399 miner. And a quick word of caution, I believe it's so cheap because of the way that it runs the power. Consistently running 140 watts through a standard USB-C connection is not favorable. Make sure you have a robust power delivery solution. Be safe out there. And for those of us who appreciate both power and aesthetics, let me introduce to you the Nerd QX++ Hydro. This is a $599 miner that offers 5 plus terahashes per second at a remarkably efficient 70 watts of power. I have seen this thing hash well over 6 terahashes a second when overclocked. Please be careful if you attempt that. Thanks to the hydro cooling, it is super efficient. And check out that beautiful RGB lighting. This thing isn't just a miner, it's a piece of art for your desk. Wow, that thing was beautiful. Stepping it up one more time, getting even more powerful, we have the Zyber 8S High Performance At Home Bitcoin Miner at $949. This beast delivers 6.4 terahashes a second at 140 watts at stock settings. And it takes care of the concerns of the Avalon Nano with its dedicated power supply situation. Take a look at that. Much better. And for an air-cooled miner, it has a dual fan situation with a fan on the bottom. This thing is awesome when it comes to keeping the temps down. And finally, to end the video, we come to a miner that while not as efficient as our mini rigs, is an absolute legend in the Bitcoin mining world. You can often find them for around $149 these days, making them an accessible entry point to larger scale mining if you can handle the power. Behold, the Bitmain Antminer S9. Typically churning out 13.5 to 14.5 terahashes per second, this miner was a game changer. However, it does so at well over 1000 watts. That's a huge difference when compared to our mini miners. While nowhere near as efficient as the newer, smaller units we've seen today, the S9 still rocks and many enthusiasts run them in custom setups, sometimes even immersed in oil to manage the heat and noise. It's a reminder how quickly mining technology evolves. Wow, what a journey through Bitcoin mining history and innovation, from the humble beginnings of USB stick miners to the terahash powerhouses of today. It's incredible to see how far mining has come. The focus has truly shifted towards efficiency and compact designs. Making Bitcoin mining more accessible and more environmentally conscious than ever before for individual enthusiasts. Whether you're chasing those elusive solo blocks with a nerd miner, optimizing for efficiency with a bit axe, or running a small farm with a Zyber 8S, there's a miner out there for every kind of enthusiast. Remember, always do your research on profitability, electricity costs, and potential risks before investing in any mining hardware. And a huge heartfelt thank you to Bitcoin Merch for sending us the majority of these miners to test and review. We truly appreciate their support for this channel. I will have product links and discount codes down in the video description for anyone that's interested. 
Please do not feel any pressure. I hope you all enjoyed this deep dive today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Please like and or subscribe on the way out, and I will see you on the next one.